Hey y'all, welcome to today's vlog. I am going to take you all along the Mexico border for about 300 miles today. I find myself in a little town called Trilingua and this town is super cool. It's in the middle of the desert in West Texas between Big Bend National Park and El Paso and there's a ghost town about five miles that way. So I'm gonna take you in there. We're gonna explore it and see what we can find. It's not deserted ghost town. I'm not sure why they call it a ghost town. I'll have to see if I can find out today because there's still businesses and things open in there. But I'm definitely excited to share with you what we find. I stayed in an Airbnb last night. It was really beautiful in the middle of nowhere, uh, but the road was pretty rough coming out this morning. So that's the bad side of Airbnb is sometimes you end up down these roads that are really difficult when you're riding on a motorcycle. Okay, so we are uh, officially in the ghost town of Trilingua. And you can see over there some of the ruins of the old buildings of the past. And of course that town was built right over the top of this incredibly beautiful cemetery. The graves are just so unique. Look how they've got this set up. It's not like any cemetery I've ever seen before. We've got some signage here to tell the story for people who come to visit and see this. A trilingual cemetery established 1902 is listed on the National Register of Historic Sites. I'm gonna put this on the screen. Y'all can freeze frame it and read it if you want. But it basically tells the story of Trilingua, how it's here. Frederico Villa, Villaba was a Spanish settler who settled in Mexico and then moved to the Mexican-American border. Was a rancher and opened up a small store selling like leather goods, dry goods, ropes. Um, he ended up supplying the military here on the border, uh, which became very important. And then he basically settled and started this town, built a big home here in the area, and now is buried here in this very historic cemetery. It says Trilingua legend, Mr. Doug. I'm guessing this gentleman truly was a legend. I guess because the ground is so rocky, they can't get people, they can't dig into it. So they pile up rocks and people are actually buried above ground under a pile of rocks or maybe some cement and stone. These would be some of the ruins of the old ghost town. So I'm 6'2". You can see how tall these doors are going into these things. And inside, looks like that probably used to be a fireplace of some sort or maybe some sort of storage. And you can see the, the mortar is just grass and mud and rock. It's not, it's not really cement at all. You can see they kind of got mud smeared on the walls here. I can't even fit through it wideways. I have to turn sideways to fit through this door. They're so small. Of course, dirt floors. It's history. It's amazing how much advancement we've had in such a short period of time. I'm gonna do a little digging and see if I can figure out what year this town would have been actually up and living. I'll put it on the screen right here if I find it. All right, so this is the Starlight Theater. And this is where I had dinner last night and it was really good. And there's like an old uh, stage there and they had live music, but it was soft and subtle and really westerny. It was, it was pretty neat. But look at these old relics they've got out here. The Trilingua Jail. Ooh. I believe this is definitely the original jail. This is not make-believe. Could you imagine? My God. This looked like a good spot for an espresso. Before we start our day along the Mexico border, there's something about the West and these little Spanish towns that just speaks to my soul. I always feel more at home out here. All right, I could sit and explore this town all day, but we've got to get some miles put down. So let's go. Okay, we are only a couple miles into this road and I had to stop and pull over and just take it all in. In fact, I'm gonna put the drone up. This is, this is quickly becoming one of the funnest rides I've been on 
If this keeps up all the way through, this is gonna be epic. These hills go up and down and like you just can't see what's over the top and then you drop down. The elevation up and down and the sharpness of them is is not like any road I've ever ridden before in America. This is, this is a fun road. Riding through these canyons like this and then along the river, they've got these cool picnic areas just set up with some teepees for shelter and you can pull over. It's a great place to stop and have a drink of water or catch a snack. Welcome to the town of, I believe you pronounce it Presidio, Pres Presidio, I'm not really sure, but wow, what a ride over here. Time to grab some grub. This town seems to have restaurants, banks, food, service stations, everything you need. And if you look at this map, you can see exactly how far it is till you get here. So I was gonna order Mexican food, but burger here has actually chili peppers and it's like a Mexican burger. And so I thought I'd give it a try. Glad I did, it's delicious. All right, so if you cut into town, this place is called the Bean Cafe and definitely worth your stop. Great food. Truly one of America's most underrated roads. This ride was completely epic. Rocky terrain, the up, the down. Felt like a roller coaster to me. I couldn't believe the amount of times I lost my stomach and uh, the number of curves. I didn't even begin to count them, but there are a lot of curves in this about 60 mile stretch. The vegetation also changes periodically from these rocky cliffs and canyons to lush green uh, communities where people seem to have their houses and are doing some farming. All in all, this is an absolutely great ride and I'm glad I took the time to do it. Now, let's make our way up towards El Paso. I've made it to El Paso. The bike's running great. I'm staying at this Palace Inn, it's some generic name, but the rooms all seem really nice. I'll tell you one thing, just getting dark early is no good. It is, uh, <laughs> I gotta get up and on the road sooner, I think. Nonetheless, I am beat. It has been a long day. Epic ride. I mean, one of the most amazing rides. Awesome ride. Great day. Weather was perfect. And I found a new road that, that has got my top 10 list all mixed up. Okay, I'm exhausted. Good night, y'all. <laughs>